Hi, in this lecture, we are going to learn that how we can find an item in a JavaScript array. Or uh, sometimes you may have come across a question that can you explain me array.prototype.find method. So we use arrow.prototype.find method to find an item in a JavaScript array. I am Dhananjay Kumar for Geek97. So to start with, let us say we have an array here called inventory and this has a couple of objects. And we got to find out whether a particular fruit uh, exists in this array or not. So to do that, what we will do, we will first go ahead and use array.prototype.find method. And to do that, let's say that let searched item is equal to inventory dot find. Now what this find uh, method does, it takes a callback function. So here we can uh, create a function called function find inventory. And this function takes four of uh, parameters, element, index, array, and the one optional, this args. So keep in mind, all these are optional parameter. You can pass them if you need them, or you cannot pass them as well. So here I need only element, element on which this callback function is going to run. So I have kept it uh, element here. And then uh, I'll say that return element dot name, if it is equal to uh, whatever we wish to search, let's say we wish to search apples. So it will return uh, this callback function return true whenever uh, that for particular element a uh, name is equal to apples then you got to pass this uh, callback function inside the find method so what i have done here i'm just using uh, javascript array dot prototype dot find method and passing a, a callback function in it and say console dot log searched item and it should give us the result that okay uh, apples and quantity uh, that particular object is found in this array if you pass something here uh, which is not in the list for example mango mango is not in the list uh, this mm, find method will return you undefined instead of uh, using a callback function uh, you can also use a arrow function so here what you can do, you can say element and then return element dot name is equal to equal to apples in this case and you should be able to get exactly the same output and if we pass something which is not in the array, uh, you should get undefined. So find method allows you either to use a callback function or it allows you to use a, a array arrow function as well what we are uh, doing right here. So far uh, if you see that we are hard coding this value of mango and apples of course one way to uh, not hard code is to uh, put it inside a variable and we can say search item and this search item and then uh, or such query and then uh, here you can say mango and then can pass this search query here this is the one way uh, to avoid this hard coding of the value and and you should able to uh, you should be fine uh, working with that uh, okay, so this looks good, but what if uh, in the callback function, in this callback function, we want to pass that query parameter. We wish to uh, make sure that uh, user should able to pass that query parameter instead of declaring it in variable or doing hard coding. So for that, uh, what all you got to do, you got to create another function and let us call this function as my find method and here you can pass that a uh, query and now what this function does this function return this callback function which you uh, can pass uh, inside the find method so here in we can put it here function find inventory and then can say return find inventory all right and here this element dot name would be equal to 
query so what I have done I just uh, create another function and passing the X parameter what we wish to pass and from there we are returning that uh, callback function which uh, should be the part of the find method and here uh, let's go and uh, remove this arrow function and use that which we just created so we uh, created here uh, a function called my find method and in this function we can pass query parameter what we wish to pass so let us pass cherries from here and here you are getting the output a cherries and quantity uh, if you are passing something which is not passed of the array is to return undefined uh, so in this way you can pass extra the parameter into the uh, callback function as well of course instead of creating this function here uh, you can from here return a arrow function as well uh, such that code looks uh, more readable and we can say element dot name is equal to this query and this should work perfectly fine uh, for us as well here it's returning undefined but if you uh, pass apples here and here it is returning apples to you so in this way uh, you can work with find method uh, you can pass parameter to that and uh, you can either create a callback function or can create an arrow function the last thing about uh, uh, this find method callback function is which i used to share with you is its parameters so here we have find inventory and let us say that uh, you have an object and you want to pass another object to this callback function so for that we have another object called my let's say dog object and that dog has has a name uh, and dog has is now if you wish to pass this dog function inside this callback function you can go and pass it from here as the second parameter and inside this callback function that would be available in the this so here you see that uh, you are getting that dog printed so you can uh, say that dog is apples and here you can instead of hard coding the other way is that you can say this dot name and you should able to get the output uh, apples and quantity too so that is something uh, you should keep in mind that when you pass the second parameter in the find method that can be accessed inside the, as the value of this in uh, uh, the callback function and this is very important and besides that you have index you have array uh, and uh, this this is the index of each item on which find method is being executed and uh, this array is the array on which find method is being executed so here you can go and uh, let's say print length of the array and here in this case it should be three because the array on which find method you are working on that has total three items and here you are getting three 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 times because it is calling three times it is not able to find this dot name uh, if you pass here apples it should call only once because apple is the first item into the array so to summarize what a find method does it takes a callback function that callback function has three parameters element index and array element is the element on which find method is running index is the index of the element on which find method is running and array is the array on which find method is running uh, besides these three parameters there is one more parameter this uh, and you can pass that parameter as the second i parameter of the find method the first parameter is always the mm, callback function uh, instead of callback function you can also use arrow function and uh, in this way you can work with find uh, find method uh, so i hope now you understand how to work with find method uh, mm, i hope you find this video useful thank you for watching it